Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to share tips on how to properly take care of your ex. So if you want to know those tips, just keep on watching. Tip number one, never ever rub your eyes. Siyempre, ang isang tao naman, di ba, pagkagising, hindi naman may iwasan na magtanggal ng muta by rubbing his or her eyes. But that is not advisable since, number one, if you have long fingernails, siyempre, you may scratch your eyeballs or your, especially your cornea and that is not good kasi magkakos siya ng discomfort and irritation and may lead to other corneal disorders. Number two, excessive rubbing may develop to keratoconus or syempre astigmatism. Pwede rin na uh, magkaroon ka ng astigmatism by excessively rubbing your eyeballs. Corneal astigmatism to be specific. Kasi syempre, um, kapag nirub mo yung eyeball mo minsan, di ba? Tapos pagkadilat mo, uh, malabo siya, ganun. It is because na si-squeeze mo yung cornea mo. So, parang nare-reshape siya for a short period of time. Uh, and, of course, kapag nare-reshape ang iyong cornea, magbabago yung, magbabago yung clarity ng vision mo. Number three naman is, of course, madumi yung kamay. So, kapag, syempre kung saan ka na humawak, di ba? And once you rub your eyes, who knows, di ba? Pwede mong mapasa yung bacteria na nasa kamay mo. And that is not healthy. No. So, never ever rub your eyes. Tip number two. In reference to tip number one, you should always keep your hands clean. Kasi minsan, syempre, hindi naman natin napapansin na napapahawk na tayo sa face natin, napapahawk na tayo sa eyes natin. And of course, kung saan-saan na tayo humawak, yung bacteria pwedeng mapasa sa eyes natin. And to avoid it, we should always keep our hands sanitized at all times. Tip number three. So, eto na. You have to quit smoking if smoker ka. Why? Because smoking, marami siyang mga diseases na pwedeng ibigay sa isang tao if you don't quit it as early as now. As young as you are, you should quit smoking because as people age, uh, hindi natin naman napapansin yung symptoms or yung mga side effects ng smoking sa katawan. Yung mga bad side effects, ba? Pero once na nandun na tayo sa stage kung saan maniningil na yung katawan natin sa ginagawa natin, doon natin malalaman na dapat nung bata pala ako ay stop smoking. So, alamin natin kung ano nga ba ang effects ng smoking sa ating mga mata. So, number one, it may increase the risk of having cataract. Ang cataract naman kasi normal talaga siyang dumadating sa buhay ng tao at a certain age. But if smoker ka, pwedeng earlier ang pag-develop ng cataract sa iyo. Number two naman is smoking increase the risk of having age-related macular degeneration. Uh, yung sakit na yun, it targets the macula, yung part ng mata kung saan nandun yung keenest vision. So, kapag nagkaroon ka nun, pwedeng mawala yung vision mo or yung sight mo, ganun or maging decreased yung vision mo. So, number three naman is increased risk of having uveitis kung saan yung sakit na uveitis is nagde-develop naman into cataract, glaucoma, or pwede naman magkaroon ka rin ng retinal detachment kung saan yung back part ng iyong mata ay unti-unting nag-peel off and it may lead also to blindness. Number four naman is um, diabetic retinopathy. Since sabi sa study na nabasa ko, kapag smoker ka, uh, increase din ang risk mo of having diabetes. And kapag, syempre, diabetic ka, increase din yung risk mo of having diabetic retinopathy. Next naman is, kapag buntis ka at smoker ka, you should stop kasi naapektuhan yung baby mo. Pwedeng yung baby mo, pag panganak mo sa kanya, pwedeng magkaroon siya ng condition sa eyes niya kung saan nakapaloob or nakapalabas yung eyeballs niya. According to some studies then, smoking increase the chances of a pregnant woman giving birth to a premature baby. It means na hindi siya 9 months, hindi 9 months na nasa sinapupunan yung baby. Pwedeng earlier niya itong malabas. And because of delivering the baby prematurely, hindi pa nade-develop yung ibang organs niya. And lastly, of course, smoking may also lead to dry eye. Kapag smoker ka kasi, kahit second-hand smoker ka, yung smoke kasi nun is said to be an eye irritant. So, you may develop a dry eye. Tip number four, eat 
foods rich in vitamins A and C. Vitamin A because it helps the surface of the eye or protects the surface of the eye and yung mga mucous membrane and yung skin na syempre yung nasa eye natin, di ba? Which is yung eyelid. Vitamin A also is an effective barrier for bacteria and viruses na pwedeng mag-enter sa eyes natin. And it helps reduce eye infection. So, ano ba yung two types of vitamin A? One is from yung animal. This is called retinol. Ang example ng retinol is yung beef and chicken liver, whole milk, and of course, cheese. Second naman is yung vitamin A from colorful fruits and vegetables. Ang tawag natin dito is carotenoids. So, syempre, from the word itself, just sa main example nito is yung carrots na bata pa lang tayo, pinapakain na tayo ng magulang natin para magkaroon tayo ng sharp vision. And of course, other fruits and vegetables such as sweet potatoes, spinach, kale, yun yung mga rich sa vitamin A. Vitamin C naman kasi it is said to be a vitamin that helps promote healthy capillaries or blood vessels. Since maraming blood vessels and capillary size natin, we need vitamin C to strengthen our capillaries and blood vessels. Ano nga ba ang mga food na rich sa vitamin C? So, ang top one na food na rich sa vitamin C is guava. Kung pangalawa ang bell pepper. Number three naman is yung kiwi fruit. Fourth is yung strawberries. Fifth si orange. Sixth si papaya. Seventh is si broccoli. Eighth si tomato. Ninth si kale. Tenth is si snow peas. Or yung tinatawag natin na sitsaro. Yung hinahalo sa chop suey ni nanay. <laughs> Yun yung vitamins A and C. Tip number five. For girls, you should always, always remove your makeup at the end of the day. Kasi, syempre, makeup, lalo na kapag nagmamascara ka, meron natitira, merong matitira at matitirang debris. And, syempre, pumapasa kayo sa mata, and pagkagising natin minsan, namumula na yung mata natin, hindi natin. Hindi <laughs> na. Hindi natin alam na may natira pa lang mascara sa eyelashes natin na syempre, pumapasok sa eyes natin yun, di ba? And, nai-irritate yung eyes natin. Ang makeup, meron yung mga ingredients na nakaka-irritate din naman sa eyes natin. Hindi rin naman maganda sa kapag pumasok siya sa loob ng eyes natin. Tip number six. For contact lens wearers, in reference naman dun sa ating tip number two, which is, you should always Always clean your hands first before touching your contact lenses. And of course, bago nyo naman syempre ilagay yung contact lenses nyo, you should always wash it first with your solutions, rinse it with your solution. And after using your contact lenses, bago nyo ilagay sa case nyo, you should also rinse it with your contact lens solution. Para yon maiwasan natin yung mga possible na eye diseases na nade-develop ng maduduming contact lenses. Tip number 7. So, para to sa ating lahat, since exposed tayo dito, which is yung paggamit ng gadgets, we should always limit our screen time. Uh, kasi, syempre, ang gadgets natin nag i yan ng blue light, small amounts of blue light, to be specific. And, longer exposures may lead to dry eyes. Kasi, syempre, kapag, halimbawa, uh, nag na laptop tayo, nagka-computer tayo, nag-cellphone tayo. Since focus tayo masyado dun sa ginagawa natin, hindi natin na mamalayan, hindi na tayo nagbiblink. Siyempre, halimbawa, naka-aircon pa kayo or naka-electric fan kayo, nakatutok sa inyo yung electric fan kasi sobrang init sa Pilipinas. Nagpo-phone tayo and hindi natin na mamalayan, hindi na pala tayo nagbiblink. And dun na pumapasok ang dry eye. Kapag masyado na tayong exposed sa paggamit ng cellphone, or sa paggamit ng laptop, and eventually, hindi na tayo nagbiblink, dun na pumapasok ang dry eye. And of course, long usage of gadgets may also cause eye strain, or yung pagkapagod ng mata, yung parang feeling mo sumasakit yung mata mo, sumasakit yung ulo mo, ganun. Yun na yung eye strain, na parang senyalis na yun na, ng mata mo, na pagod na ako, gusto ko na magpahinga. Ang advice ko dyan, which is yung usually na sinasabi ko sa patients ko, back in my clinic years, is kapag, syempre, hindi naman maiwasan kasi yung iba trabaho nila is talagang exposed sila sa pagko-computer. And of course, tayo as millennials and Gen Z, 
uh, hindi natin maiwasan na mag-phone kasi yun na yung libangan ng mga bata ngayon, di ba? Kapag halimbawa nagbabasa ka, everything that you're doing at near, you should always have um, enough light na nagsusupport sa ginagawa mo. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng masyadong madidim. Kasi nag effort yung eyes natin to read kung ano yung binabasa natin or kung ano man yung ginagawa natin ng malapitan. So, dapat meron tayong enough light sa paligid natin para masuportahan yung eyes natin. And, of course naman, kapag, halimbawa, nagli-laptop ka, ganun, huwag naman natin na porket may ilaw yung laptop is yun na yung source ng ilaw natin, di ba? Dapat meron pa rin tayong light or lamp beside us na, syempre, nagta-type ka, di ba? Dapat may ilawan pa rin yung ginagawa mo at near. Huwag natin hahayaan na expose yung eyes natin sa gadgets. Sa ilaw lang ng gadgets. Kasi nga, nagiinit pa rin yan ng blue light. Which is not healthy for our eyes. Tip number 8. Okay, so in reference to our tip number 7, if you are prone to near work activities such as um, pagli-lapta, paggamit ng cellphone, or pagbabasa ng books, reviewers, notes, etc. You should always practice this 20-20-20 rule na tinuturo namin sa patients namin. This means that for every 20 minutes of doing your near work activity, kahit ano pa yan, laptops, notes, um, cell phones, books, you should always take a 20 second break by looking at a distant object. Um, specifically 20 feet away from you. But of course, hindi ka naman laging nasa kalawakan, di ba? So maybe you can just fixate at a distant object. Basta mapahinga or ma-relax mo lang yung eyes mo. I suggest siguro 20 to 30 seconds kang titingin dun sa malayo after a 20-minute near work activity. Siyempre, hindi mo rin naman siya ma mamamalayan, di ba? Na 20 minutes na pala kong nag-laptop, ganun, or nagbabasa. Siguro kapag na-feel mo na parang ang tagal mo nang exposed sa pagbabasa, sa pagla-laptop, sa pag-cellphone, Maybe you should take a rest, close your eyes, and pagka-open, tingin ka sa malayo para ma-relax yung eyes mo. Kasi kapag 6 hours, halimbawa 6 hours straight kang nagla-laptop, nagbabasa, ganun, syempre napapagod din yung eyes natin. Our eyes deserve some rest. Kahit na, syempre, usually ang eyes natin yung tinitake for granted natin, di ba? So, kailangan natin pangalagaan yan na kapag na-feel natin na parang Ah, pagod na yung eyes natin. So, may signals naman siya mismo eh, di ba? Kapag yung feeling natin natutuyo na siya, sumasakit na siya, ganun. We should always um, give it to our eyes na pagpahingahin sila kahit saglit, kahit 20 to 30 seconds lang, tingin tayo sa malayo para ma-relax sila. Tip number 9, if you're doing outdoor activities such as pagpupunta sa beach, pag-akit sa bundok, or basta pagta-travel, wag na wag na wag nyong kakalimutan yung eyeglasses nyo, yung hats nyo. Kasi, syempre, paprotektahan natin yung eyes natin sa harmful rays ng sun. Since ang sun is nag emit ng mga UV rays na hindi siya healthy sa eyes, sa skin natin, sa, sa katawan natin, to be exact. Syempre, ang eyes natin kasi hindi naman siya yung highly protected, di ba? Uh, exposed siya once na naka-open yung eyelids natin, exposed siya. So, we have to protect it by using eye, uh, sunglasses or eyeglasses na merong um, photochromic lenses yung nagdodarken kapag mainit. And of course, um, hats para ma-protect din natin yung eyes natin sa rays ng sun. Naka-sunglasses ka, hindi ka lang nag o o eh. Pinoprotektahan din ng sunglasses yung eyes mo. So, never forget your sunglasses and your hats kapag lalabas kayo ng bahay. And tip number 10. Lastly, but definitely not the least tip, you should never ever forget to visit your eye doctor. Especially, syempre, kapag halimbawa nakapagpacheck ka na ng mata, nabigay na yung eyeglasses mo, huwag naman yung hindi mo na siya babalikan ulit once na nakuha mo na yung eyeglasses mo, diba? Uh, syempre, meron pa rin yung mga um, after 6 months may follow-up, ganun, para makita kung uh, ano na ang condition ng eyes mo, tumaas ba grado mo, bumaba ba. So, huwag na huwag natin kakalimutan na mag-pay again ng visit sa ating eye doctors. 
So that's pretty much it. I think nasabi ko na yung mga tips na importante um, para makatulong or ma-maintain yung good eye health. So if you like this video or if may napulot kayo, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If meron pa kayong other tips, yung mga fellow um, optometry students ko dyan, please comment it down below so that um, we can spread awareness sa mga tao na um, hindi pa aware sa kung paano nila tamang pangangalagaan ng kanilang mga mata. And if may mga questions pa yung mga viewers na um, parang curious sa kung paano pa nila mapapangalagaan yung mata nila or may questions, other questions ganun, just comment it down below and I'll try to answer your questions sa next um, optometry video ko. So that's all for today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!